Hey, howdy, hey, my friends. This is God's Master, a.k.a. G to the 3. I'm here in uh, Training Grounds, and I wanted to show you a deck I've been working on for a little while with uh, the new Sarkin Broken Broken. So this is a legacy build. I know, there's a ton of different ways to build a legacy deck that's just redonkulous with senior uh, unbroken pants, but... This deck is a little ridiculous, so I figure I'd show you. So I've got Gen of Wishes, which if you don't know what it do, it basically brings out three uh, Gen Gen Wishes, which is essentially once they popped, there are two powered supports that are on the board that don't reinforce. And once they're popped, they get you a free card, uh, pulls your next card from your library, and it's fully charged. Of course, the ultimate piggy, you got to have him. Uh, energize three when this creature enters the battlefield. Each creature you control, 4-4 four, four, Trample, Haste, and Berserk. Of course, the free socialist card, Omniscience, everything should be free. War of Invention to get you a cheap free Omniscience. It's the only support I'm running and the only spell I'm running to pull a support. Stitch in Time, because you want more turns, more swaps. Uh, Hazard's Undying Fury, because we want more free silliness. Seasons Past, so it fuels up all the stuff that isn't free. Uh, it, it's the new green deal, in my opinion. This might be the socialist deck. I don't know. No, please don't leave any political comments. I'm just, it's free. Uh, Shatterstorm to destroy all the supports we build out there. Nisa's Revelation to keep our hand full and to give us some more life. And of course, Vivian's Invocation to be able to deal some creature control on the other side of the board. I literally just faced a Teferi deck that was so fast, it just kicked this deck's butt because I played it wrong. I got conservative instead of being aggressive and I wound up losing. I should have won, I played it wrong. So I'm gonna play this deck again right now. What's up, Yamming? And we're gonna go ahead and uh, go against uh, the ultimate Khan. Karn's one of my favorite Planeswalkers to play. The only limitation of Karn and the reason I like Unbroken better than Karn is because I can play Karn in three color decks, black, I'm sorry, blue, red, and green. Any event requiring that dude and I can, you know, I can crush a fool. Uh, yeah, let's go this route. Actually, let's hold off to that. Let's do, no, let's, yeah, let's do this instead. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Vivian's, I'm going to do Shatterstorm, and that way I've got free cards in my hand ASAP. But I've got to quickly get it done so as to Karn not power up. Karn is a little slow because what Karn has to do is get his mana abilities or his mana bonuses up dramatically, and that takes a little while for him to do. It takes a few turns, but then once he is powered up, he is devastating. So we're going to go ahead and bring out some Jinny Jin Jin. So I've got my gen. Look how far spaced out I made those. Come on, man. Put them closer together. What the heck? But that's all right, though. You know why? Because we don't need that. That's why we power up on the next turn. I should have done the lower one. Uh, we power up this bad boy. Now, I've, I'm going to have three cards, so I've got to ditch two cards, or just one card, really. And let's go Let's go to town, peeps. Let's go to Bean Town. Bam, bam, bam. And what did I get? Uh, da, 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 da. So I've got some creature control now. Smash, smash. And still a little slow here. I was hoping to be able to get a uh, to pull an omniscience powered though. So I've got some shatterstorm. I don't need two of the. In fact, I don't need any of those right now. I do need some of these though, and this will start the chain reaction. But I've got seventeen to get. So, are you going to eat that delicious croissant? Yeah, let's just go green. Safe. Fine. This is going to wind up being a slow win. Watch. It's going to be super rinky-dink. Um, I don't need that. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one short. Man, come on. I'm going to wind up winning with just regular punishment. All right. So I always like putting my dealy bobs at the top. And the neat thing about this build is that it gives you an option to be able to choose to cast Shatterstorm instead of just destroying your stuff if it's an inopportune time. And for um, Hazard, I can choose what to do. Look, I get one extra turn. What did I pull? Was it just all Omniscience? <laughs> I think it was. So I'm going to try to get... Uh, yep, there it is. On my next turn, I will be able to cast that. But realistically, this game's over. I don't need to do anything. I've already won. This is kind of a boring de deal. So let's let's play this again. Let me just go ahead and mute that, so we're not launching it. And and again, this is really cool because with Sarkin's third ability, bam! I've got a fistful of awesome. 
But I'm not going to cast any of it because I don't need any of it. I'm just going to win. Bam, game. All right, so that's one. Neat. Let's get to a second game real quick. Let me pause this and I'll come right back. All right, so now we're going to face Dave Lee uh, with Angrith. Let's see what he got. So I started a new, there's three training grounds today, two legacy and one standard. So instead of just wasting time collecting 100 <laughs> runes per fight in a training ground that doesn't matter, let me go actually win some, some major coin here. All right, so this actually works well. If I can get, look at that, first, oh, I was hoping for a first turn. Nope, I'll get it on the second turn. And yes, let's play it this way. Boom. Shakalaka. We're going to play Vivian. So we're going to get out Jin. We will Shatter Storm. Fill the Fist. This is turn two. And we're going to run that because we got another War of Invention, or um, in this case, nope, not going to do Shatter Storm just yet. Because we've got more shenanigans to play. Look at this. So just keep going. And I've already powered my hand up for more Ginny Jan Jins. All right. I got 13 Omniscient. So any next 12 cards I basically want to play, I can play for in uh, consistent for the rest of the lives. All right. So let's go ahead and throw out some more Ginny's. Jin Jins. All right. And as you can see, once this cycle gets going, it's pretty. It's a pretty vicious cycle. Uh, yep. Let's go ahead and do some more of that. Let's, let's throw a piggy this time because I think we've got enough. One, two, three. Yep, let's just keep doing that. And this is the mistake I made the first time I played this deck against that Teferi deck because this is fairly new. I barely start. I barely added Vivians to this um, this couple of plays ago. And I'm still getting used to the play of it. So this is an all-out aggressive deck. You don't wait, man. And this is still turn two. I'm not going to do that one this time. So I got four extra swaps. I got a Shatter Storm. And I have no... Um, I'm actually going to ditch... Actually, do I want to ditch that? No, I want to ditch that. And I want to ditch that. So I don't have any Omniscience on the board. But I do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight cards. You know what? I'm going to ditch it all. Let's just go a brand new. Let's, let's be surprised. Or you know what? Yeah, yeah, let's wait. We're not going to do that right now. So what's really interesting is I could do this, bam, to confirm, shampoo, and now I'm going to get a fistful of new stuff. That's completely powered up. Chin of Wishes is so ridiculous, man. It is an awesome card. I love it. I chased that card for so long, man, and I finally wound up pulling it not too long ago. Uh, da, 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 da. It's the only support I got, so you know it's an omniscience. Here comes some free cards. Bam. Do we get another deal out there? And I've pretty much won. I think I've won. Let me see. Have I won yet? Oh, you know what I didn't do here? Hold on. Watch this. You want to see some funniness? Bam and bam. Let's ditch all that. Let's throw some Jenny Jins. Let's throw this out here. And we need seven, so I think we have enough... Turn, let's, let's do this. There it is. So we're just gonna fully load the board again, and let's go to let's go to Bean Town. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I have a full fist, a fistful of freeness. Bam, bam, bam. Vivians, and I could start the cycle all over again. I'm just gonna not now for the rest of this, so I can start to win because i think i have more than enough of a creature to win yep i do so let's just start rallying here six extra turns so i had seven turns available uh, i was running beforehand i was running chance for glory to try to get some extra turnage and some double strike and being more powerful and whatnot if they got out lich's mastery because this does take a couple of turns to get going but if they got lich's mastery going out by chance if they drop that and then you go to attack with a double strike and then you take it oh i'm three short look at that that's ridiculous that's all right turn three free vivian okay uh da, 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 da. right there i was three points short look at that <laughs> okay so a turn three victory for this deck for sark and the unbroken and and the key to it is being super aggressive making sure that you have more than enough so i could have cycled another round and finished it in the second turn just to be sure but that was fun. Let's do one more. So in this one, we're facing one of the most ominous 
planeswalkers in the game, which is blue green Kiora. Kiora is a beast because she can steal your mana drops right in the beginning. And that's awesome. She's powerful. Sarkin is more powerful because she he's got what she got plus a lot more. Ah, look at that. That's a heck of a setup I gave her there. <laughs> she might beat me. <laughs> look at this. And then of course the AI can cascade like a darn river rat. Look at this. She emptied her hands, but she didn't cast anything. So now when I destroy my nodes or my deals, she's going to destroy hers too. Um, I think I want to not do that. Let me get some goings on here. Uh, pop. So I'm going to pop some of her stuff. Storm the Vault might be good in here, but I just don't find that I need it. Everyone swears up and down, like, Storm the Vault is one of the greatest cards ever. It's okay. I, I mean, it really does work well, especially if it's one of the first card sets, um, one of the big mythics that you get. It works really, really well. Um, but at the same time, it's also one of those ones where it, it takes up, it charges the rest, and it keeps you from having a power card that you can play. Actually... Yeah, let's switch those. What do I need? Three? All right, let's do this. Mm, red. Okay, confirm. Bam. Bam, bam. Ooh, telemarketing call. Uh, yeah, let's, let's ditch all of that stuff. All right, let's confirm. Let's get some my own genies. Maybe some hand destruction would be cool. Uh, let's see here. Oh, the blues are so far away from each other. So far away from me. I think I played that wrong. I should, probably should have waited and not destroyed all the cards yet. <laughs> he just stole my card. <laughs> uh, silliness. But he didn't get any of the mana bonus, so it doesn't really matter. I can destroy that creature here pretty quick. Uh, let's ditch that because I'm at full health. Um... Yeah, I'm just getting used to playing this deck. I haven't played this enough to say here's the nuance of it. That's a key element, if you, especially in tournament play. If you really want to uh, do well in the tourneys and you want to place high in the events, you really got to play your decks a lot. I mean, it's really important that you are um, taking your time and actually training with your events in the training grounds and playing as many different types of decks as you can because you never know how weak your deck is until you've actually started playing it against other you know, sophisticated decks. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to ditch that. And come on, man, what do I need? Nine? Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, let's do that. Taking away his stuff, too. Because he's got some stuff there. All right, there's a piggy. And yeah, and now I get to do this. No more moves. That's all right. I don't need any more moves. I win. This round I'm winning. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Uh, I'm going to go for that. I'm going to get me some more Jinny Jins. I'm going to kill their Jin. Uh, I'm not going to Shatterstorm yet. Because I have a fistful of cards right now anyway, so it wouldn't matter if I do. And usually you want to try to save that Shatterstorm for after you got one extra swap. Now, now would be a good time to do it, except that, how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can do it now and save my, oh, and I get an extra turn too. Yarr. Yep, let's destroy it all and get a fistful of cards. One, two, three, four, five, sixty-six. And let's just go ahead and do that. Oh, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> See, still getting used to it. I shouldn't have done that. I was expecting that I had something on the board that I do not. So let's ditch that. Actually, let's do this. Oh, shoot, I messed up too. Shouldn't have done that either. All right. 
I should have saved that. <laughs> See, look, I'm not perfect. People are always like, oh, I played Greg's deck, and, or I played Gaz's deck, and, and I wound up destroying him. He's easy to beat. Yeah, because I'm just a normal player, just like anybody else. It's not like I have all the answers, but when, especially when I'm playing something new here, uh, this is the first time I'm, I'm playing something like this. Well, that was a heck of a drop. Thank you very much. Let's see, do I have an extra turn? Because if I do, then I might be able to... I can still get something. Oh, let's actually do this instead. Bam. All right, last chance. All right, cool. And that's why you want to keep your blues cluttered together so that when you do bring out your gins, your your um, gins wishes bobbles are close enough that you can get them done. Not enough to beat him yet. Uh, da, 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 da. I got to get some droppage here. Did I get enough? And I need to drop this too, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Okay. 15 short, full health, 15 short. That's one of the big prob uh, big benefits of Nisa's... Look at that stupid card. I hate that card. <laughs> Gaia's perfect. I finally pulled Gaia, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I've got Gaia. I'm like, man, I hate Gaia. I hate her. And I don't need to do anything else, so I could continue the loop, but I'm not going to because we want to just end this. Look, you know what? I can't help it. <laughs> it's, just, you, it's just too good. I'm not going to play that, and I'm not going to play that. So... It allows us to continue to run it. Creature control. So I took 16 points of damage there before we left. I wonder if it gives me... Um, yeah, I did. I had enough life gain when I had full mana that it repowered me back up. That's a big thing for me when I'm playing like multiple rounds of games like this. Is I want to make sure that I have... Uh, I want to have some cards in there that restore my life. So a lot of times when I have... I'll be playing multiple events. I don't want to use my potions to fully heal myself. I think that's kind of silly. I'd like to have something in the deck that replenishes me. So Nisa's... Was it Nisa's Revival? Which is it? I always forget the name of the cards. Terrible at the namings of the cards. But um, with uh, Nisa's Revelation, it winds up not just filling your hand up with five cards, but it also gives you 20 life. For 13 mana, dude, that's, that's a major, major mythic card. Yes, this deck is stupidly overpowered. The only card I have in here that's not... Actually, that's funny. I have, uh, let's see, a Mythic, one, two, a Masterpiece, a Rare, uh, two Masterpieces, uh, two Rares, uh, three Masterpieces, uh, three Rares. So I've got six, uh, three Masterpieces, three Rares, four Mythics is what this built a deck in. There's no commons or uncommons in here. And this deck works. Anyways, if you have some suggestions or some thoughts or some things you might recommend for this deck, it's a fun build. I highly recommend you go get the cards for it. And that's it. I uh, appreciate you guys. And let me know if you think of anything else. Bye.